fire! Acknowledged, how light 2 1. Push through to the factory and link up with Amber. The cast is already inbound. ETA 1 Mike, out. Rudwell! Rudwell! Time to move. Where's Jack? I don't know. He went to relieve Baker on point. LT! Still! You still in this? All right, fuck it! On me, let's go! One. Come on! We gotta keep moving! Lieutenant? Lieutenant Kingsley, you read? Over. Baker! Report! I'm pinned down! LDF, they're all over me! Stay put! Rookies on your six! Hang on! I'm on it. Amber, how light actual? We'll go. Check your fire. A drone operator's coming to you. Wait one. Out. over here. Keep that jammer on it, Jack. What is this? Yeah, I tried that. Service panel stuck. You wedged a fucking screwdriver in it? Yeah, like I said, I tried that. It's stuck. There's an operator control station in the guardhouse. You can turn it off there, right? Okay. Stop. Edit. Parameters. 
Simulation, false. And execute. Howlite 4 1 to Howlite Actual. Livonian Defense Force UGVs are out of action. I reckon I could pull some intel if you can wait one. Over. Ah, too slow. <laughs> Great. You bluebells get extra points if you shoot us in the back? Hey, what the hell? There, American. I shoot you front. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I appreciate it, pal. Alchemist to all call signs. Index. How light. Impressive work out there. I've never seen such a clusterfuck. You can run the gauntlet again this afternoon. Maybe the reserves can show you how it's done. Further to my last. Transfers. If we hadn't had the pleasure, see me at the talk. Out. You catch that, Rudwell? Report in. Tactical Operations Center. That's the green container with an asshole outside. You the new blood? Yes, sir. Specialist Aiden Rudwell. I've just been reassigned on a PCS. Then you are my problem. Wonderful. Do you have a map? Uh, just a sketchbook, sir. <laughs> Not enough maps to go around. Sinews of war, huh? Rip that one off the whiteboard here. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Our joint exercises span the Nadbor region. As you know, that's pretty much one big military training area. No civ pop to give us any trouble. But this, this is premium strategic real estate. The Andreev Gap. Take ground here, and you close the door on the Baltic states. Anyway, our boys are pushing east from the Kaliningrad border. Obviously, in this scenario, role-playing as the Russians. That means we'll be facing off against the Livonian Defense Force. Already this morning, we've put some pressure on their MSR here. Later today, they'll counterattack dominating the high ground south of our position. To simulate this, we're doing a lot of live fire on this hill. Ah, uh, perfect. That's this country, pissing on our fireworks. I shit you not. Even the weather here's against us. Listen, let's wrap it up. Point out anything you want to know. Shopka 41. Let me guess, an old Soviet site? Mm, radar base. LDF test their drones there. Camp Conrad. That an FOB, sir? It is. And right on the edge of our live fire zone. That there? That's a Black Goopsville. One of our many burn pits. Piss me off and I guarantee you'll see more of it. That a military tower? Kind of. Armed Forces Radio. It only airs your lieutenant's pick of classical music. If I were the colonel, I'd make that a tier one priority target. This road. It's not part of the training area? No. Civilian corridor. It's the only way through to Nadbor if you haven't got a pass. Nadbor. You know if that's a large town, sir? Large enough. Just don't expect a warm reception. People there? They've had enough of army folk. That's the Livonian Defense Force's MOB. Aside from being their main base of operations here, it's also the home of the elite 5th Regiment, Special Forces. You'll spot them by the wolf's head insignia on their sleeves. Ah, Polana. The LDF have a small logistics staging area at the junction there. It's only home to a few MTA wardens now. Everybody else left. 
Seems we don't make good neighbors. All right, then. Let's get this shit show on the road. See that concrete office across the courtyard? I need you to go on over and assist your slack-ass corporal. I need that electronic warfare demo making sense. Russian later? I need to, you know, cement it in. <laughs> yeah, but I can't fix the problem between your ears, Lane. Uh, screw it then. The only words I need now, I got in English. Yo, Rudwell, Corporal Stipe's up on the roof if you're looking for him. No fucking way. You here for a 101? <sighs> Homewood's orders. I got voluntold. The Don? So what are you, like idiot proofing? Hey, I didn't want to be here, Jack. Ah, whatever. Better you than some damn bluebell. Jammer's on the desk. Let's get you zapping shit. Now, what you've got there is some funky fresh tech. A modular, electromagnetic spectrum device with an integrated analyzer. Oh, that's catchy. Yeah, which is why us Sparkies call it a Spectrum or M-Spec device. Ah, here we go, my faithful assistant, Monsieur de la Darter. That UAV on a program? I don't know, it's doing stuff, ain't it? Okay, so, point the antenna at him, hold it, and wait for the signal to scan. 
You ought to get a confirmation beat. See those bars lighting up on your display? That's his signal strength. You can use those readings to get a rough location of the source. First lesson's tracking. Hit him up over to the right, and again, scan that signal. This is simple electronic support. Identifying electromagnetic emissions to map a battlefield. Yeah, think blindfold chess, minus a blindfold. Okay, nice. Ah, something else. You don't need a visual in order to receive radio waves. See if you can find them. Yep, there you go. Moving on. Electronic protection. Huh. I'm not sure he's coming back. Is the geofence on? Nah, he's good, he's good. He knows where he's going. Take a look at your device. You got full bars? Nope. Exactly. The hill's attenuating the signal. And this part of the demo I go on about terrain, how it affects high, very high, and ultra high frequencies. Yada yada, you know all this. Yeah. Show me how you jam stuff. Electronic attack. The third and final pillar of electronic warfare. I was building up to that. If you aim at our little friend and squeeze the trigger... Ah, okay. He's setting down. Telemetry's out. Yeah. The noise you're transmitting breaks the connection. Autopilot takes over. He thinks he's out of range. Specialist Rudwell. Lieutenant Kingsley. You got a minute? I need a sanity check up at Point Dakota. Over. Uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> affirmative. North or South Dakota, sir. You mean there's more than one? Look, once you're done dicking around on that roof over there with Stipe, I'd like an assist. Out. Hmm, I better see what's up. He actually sounded kind of pissed.
verify some numbers for the live fire, and, well, all I'm getting is a false negative. Maybe a dud designator. Could be, but only the GPS is out. Huh. Do you mind if I take a look at it? Yeah, no, not at all. Be my guest. There's a load of concrete targets. On the hilltop to the south. Should be marked with purple smoke. Okay, I got him. Coordinates are zero, six, seven. <laughs> yeah, it's glitching. Magic touch? <laughs> you know it. Okay, can you give it another shot? Zero, six, eight, zero, one, five. Confirmed. Great job. Really? Hold here a sec, I'll call it in. Alchemist, Howlite Actual, requesting cast support on 068015. Over. Message received, Howlite. Stand by. The Great Hawk's vectoring for approach. Out. Give it a few secs. Payload's a GPS guided smart bomb. You're not gonna want to miss this. You ever seen one of those things go boom before? Yeah. Right, drone operator. You sign up for that? Not really. I enlisted as a translator. Six languages and an extra G every month. Then, it all went digital. Anyhow, long story short, helped my kid put together a mini-bot last Christmas and figured, hey, Army can have me doing drones. Pointless to fight the future, huh? Okay. There he is. You got him? Uh, <laughs> he's missed it. Overshot the target by what? Half a click? No. Oh my god. All call signs. Incoming on the factory. No play. No play. Code Echo. I say again. Code Echo. Jesus Christ. Rudwell, get down there! Find out if there's any casualties! Lieutenant, it's bad. One of ours, wounded. Two others, non-responsive. Uh, six, maybe seven, LDF, all dead. Advise, over. Get a med kit, do what you can. Private Dillon, stretcher. Corporal Stipe. Move that APC off those cobbles. We need more space for a kilo. Negative. I didn't see shit. Over.
Lieutenant, do, do you copy? I read you. The I got eyes on the dust off. Fuck! Just wait where you are. Over. Ruger, it moved! That thing just fucking moved, Rush! Co leży obok ciebie? Co to? Wiem, że liznałeś Polski, odpowiedz mi! Zacznij wreszcie gadać! Hey, man. The Don wants you. Over in the comms tent. Yep. Thanks, Dill. Either he's gonna fall asleep behind the wheel, or he's gonna give himself another heart attack. Logistics are a mess, I get that. But it's not worth killing yourself over. Yeah, I'll put a fucking A on that, Josie. A fucking A on that. Hey, Rudders. You see the news yet? No. Why? <laughs> You're almost famous. Rudwell, LDF just put the boot in. They went all this fritzed in 48 hours. 48 fucking hours. Never mind our permits for the roads aren't valid yet. Or, or, or the fact that the NMCCs are all choked. No, oh, ah. The Blue L's want us gone. Cancel the exercises by all means. But this, this is suicide by logistics. I swear if the Russians invade, it couldn't be too fucking soon. Listen, it's all hands on deck. Even the colonels out there hitting corners. I need everyone to do the same. Not a problem, sir. It didn't let me finish. I need everyone, including that slack-ass corporal. Corporal Stipe. I love that I don't have to explain myself to you, specialist. But then I guess that's what makes you so special. He's on task, carting our literal shit over to the burn pit. And sorry to say, I want you to tag along. Stop him from getting on the business end of an MP's nightstick. Roger that. 
Things are tense enough as it is. The Livonian Defense Force have the accident area locked down. You know why? I just got the word. Highly toxic vapors. In addition to structural instability, that factory is sitting on a landfill of chemical crap. Methyl isocyanate. Apparently it's really fucky stuff. LDF began evacuating Nodbor this morning, and the radius of effects only getting bigger. So, PPE will be mandatory from zero hundred hours. Oh, sir? Uh, Norad's on the line here. Patch it through to the LC's office, would you, Keats? In the meantime, you're hauling ass. There's a loaded helmet over by the main gate. I don't know. Russia joining up with CSAT? I mean, yeah, being trading partners is one thing, but full-on membership? That's quite a commitment. And it's not working out so well for Belarus now, is it? Hey, Major wants me with you. What? Are you his stoolie now? Okay, fine. I gotta ask a little favor first. The fuck you will, Jack. Last one I did for you got me NJP'd. <laughs> yeah. Could you just swing by the armory? Pick up my M-Spec device? I'd go myself, but, you know, reasons. I thought we were on a garbage run. Sure. But there's something I gotta do on route. Baker. Corporal Stipe wants his doohickey. Right. Spectrum device? There's one in the back of the Faraday cage. Nice improv in here. You still expecting World War III? Always, man. Doomsday clock. It's one minute two. I'm driving then. I'd say that's a reasonable assumption. You gonna give me directions or just be a prick all night? Directions? Oh, you really have been living the high life, haven't you, Rudd? Doesn't know how to get to the good old Black Goopsville. Follow the road, Princess. <laughs> you mean the smell? Ah, there we go. That's the spirit. So, what's this thing you gotta do? About that. Turn right. Oh, it 
it's not through the roadblock. You think the Russians duped the drone? The factory? Come on, I don't want to keep going over that. It was bad and it happened. End of. You want to tell me what we're doing? Hasn't anything struck you as kind of strange lately? Yeah. Life is strange. What's your point? My point? You hear that shit about a chemical leak? Yeah. You hear we got 48 hours to get our asses stateside? Yeah. Cause I'm hearing everything. Cause it's all out there, tingling on the airwaves, Rudd. You don't believe me? Try the spectrum device. You see the transmitter tower? Focus the triangular antenna at it. And, uh, switch to detail mode. On your screen, you got wavy lines. Waves, Jack. Yeah. Our electromagnetic sea. Now, in with those, there's a peak. That indicates activity. There's also a vertical bar. Slide that over to the signal while you're aiming at the source. Music. Huh. It's modulating the signal, too. That's not all. The LDF? They're using pretty basic encryption. Scramblers? Yeah, poor bastards. Hard as nails, dumb as planks. You cracked their comsec. In a way. I swiped a couple grams of modafino from the medic supplies at Point Hopi, and exchanged it with a militia nut for the price of a genuine bluebell radio and its crypto key. Oh, Christ. Okay, so, go ahead. There ought to be some chatter, bouncing between whatever's going on at the factory and the burn pit, a short ways up the road. Oh, and yeah, don't forget to adjust the vertical frequency band. Otherwise all you'll get is static. You used to be a translator, right? You get any of that? They're not talking about an industrial disaster, are they? You think this is a cover-up? I asked around about the factory. There was never any landfill there. The Soviets built it on top of an old sawmill. And as for that thing we saw in the sinkhole, I got nothing. You hear that? Sounds like a helo. Moving target. Try and catch him as he comes over. Nicely done. I guess you're going somewhere with this. I need a wingman. No. No, what you need's a fall guy. You are the fall guy, Rudd. The blue on blue. The loss of face. The protests. The politics. If the DOD can't pin it all on Russia, who you think they're gonna come to next? The LT? Or the pissed off linguist? Last seen, on that day, on a roof, with a fucking drone jammer. Yeah, I was with you, jackass. Or did you forget? No, I didn't forget. Drive us to the burn pit. And don't sweat it, I got a plan. How the hell did you wind up in the army, Jack? Well, 
I'm not gonna say it was a join up or go to jail sort of deal, but uh, nah, I'm throwing the bullshit flag on that one, pal. Though that would explain your problem with authority. I don't have a problem with authority. I just think shit ought to roll uphill sometimes. them containers. Oh, Jesus, that stench! Bet you can feel it coating up your lungs already, huh? Well, you got a choice. It's either step out of the cab and we shovel shit, or I run you through the plan, which I may add does not involve sucking in the sweet stuff. Okay. You in? Depends. You gonna get me killed? Not if you don't do anything stupid, I won't. Look, we're right next to the LDF's restricted zone. I'll distract the guards while you get near the factory. I made a load of notes on your map. Infill, exfill, plus a vantage point. Did you jimmy my footlocker to do that? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you very much. Yo, you're welcome. Soon as we hop out, beeline for the corner wall. There's a break which leads down into a gully. Uh, what's a gully? Six languages, and you don't know what a gully is. I'm disappointed. All right, so come on, let's do this. Hey, free bet. How's it going, Rudd? Yeah. Remind me why I'm doing this? Because you didn't want to play in Dookie, or end up in prison. You probably speak Russian, right? I'm not a sleeper agent. No, I know. Just... don't shoot anyone. The Bluebells may be dicks, but, uh... they're fighting for the good guys. <laughs> the world really is up black and white for you. What? Never mind. Careful as you go down, and... if you got it on... Watch out for the flashlight on your Spectrum device. I'm gonna shake things up a little. Stipe, come in. Jack, talk to me. I'm hearing shots fired. Come in. Quite the diversion, ain't it? What the fuck did you just do? Relax, they're planks. I chucked them in our crap barrels. Son of a bitch. Avoid roads and find a gap in their lines to sneak through. That's bought you a small window of opportunity. Better use
vantage point by now. If you're still following the gully, you gotta go uphill and right. There's some rocks and one of them buried pyro containers. Beyond that, you'll have a real good view of what's going on below. Jack, you ain't gonna believe this. You were right. It's a black site. The LDF are building a dome over the sinkhole. I fucking knew it. I've seen a place like this before. Okay, this is what you're gonna do. The Spectrum device, it auto-records by default. Get any intel you can. We're gonna blow this whole thing open. Update. The shit's getting stranger by the second. There's a Scottish guy here, and he mentioned there's a second site. On the hill, where Point Dakota was. I'm not far off. It's quiet. One truck, not many lights. I reckon a half a click from the RV. Just check that fancy map of yours. You saying you want me to go, scope it out? Sure, why not? Because it's crazy. I'll never get through the factory. So don't go around or cut through. I don't care. But you gotta get a look in at that other location. The answers we need are there, I know it.
alarms are going off. Nothing to do with me. You sure you didn't get spotted? Okay, wait. I got a view from here. Definitely a lot of movement. Yeah, something's got them on edge. Stay on track. If it ain't us, it's more chaos we can use. Jack, you copy? I'm here. What you got? Not a lot. Though I'm close to our zone of interest. Great. Listen, there's gonna be at least a few LDF guys on guard there. You'll need to get creative. The Spectrum device has a signal library. And in that library, there's a signal. A message. From a jumped-up Bluebell Colonel. If we're lucky, we can deceive the sentries. Send them off fuck knows where. Station names haven't changed since the exercises. Grey Wolf still in command and everyone else is using the standard NATO alphabet. That squad out there? We just gotta find out who they are. And how do we do that? Should be easy. Bring up the signal library screen. Okay, I'm there. Switch to the music you recorded. If you send that signal in the direction of the squad on the company frequency, they'll radio HQ and report interference. That means you'll get to hear their call sign. You can then check the library again, see if there's an address to match their ID. If there is, use it. Same as with the music. Once they respond, select that movement order I told you about and relay it to them. Just don't broadcast shit randomly. If they realize they're the subject of electronic deception, they'll go dark. Same with the entire combat net. It all goes down. And we want to keep them talking. Exactly. But, uh... Keep in mind, to hear both speakers in a conversation, you may have to redirect the device, unless they're more or less aligned. You can only detect what you're pointing at. There anything else I need to know? Yeah, and it's important. When impersonating a station, be careful about your background trajectory. You really don't want anyone receiving sent messages. It'll give the game away. Just transmit the music, listen for a response, pose as Grey Wolf, contact them specifically, and issue our fake command. Fine, got it. Uh, what if I hit a rut? Then you can figure out how to make your own distraction.
twojej strony. Odbiór. Wiedź negatywna. Sprawdź antenę i wykonaj diagnostykę. Odbiór. Piąłem, zrozumiano. Bez odbioru. Delta tu szary wilk. Odbiór. Wilk tu delta. Odbiór. Kierunek wschód. Szukaj śladów aktywności wroga. Odbiór. Zmianą. Jesteśmy w drodze. Bez odbioru. It's me. I can't believe it. They bought it. Oh, ye of little faith. Once they're gone, get a look in. Sorry, no answers. The only questions. What? Knock it off with that mystic shit. Is it another one of those things? Yeah. They dug it up. Looks like they were doing tests on it, or some kind of fumigation. Can you cut a piece of it off and take it with you? <laughs> you can fuck right off if you think I'm gonna touch it. Okay. Can you lift a laptop or something? Too risky. But once they see stuff missing, they'll be on us. Shit, wait. I got a USB stick on a keychain. Yeah, awesome. Access something. Copy-paste desktop folders and get them on it. Oh, no. There's a helo. I know! Bug out, I ain't kidding. Just another two seconds. You only get yourself killed if you get something stupid drug. This is it. Got it! Jack? Please tell me you didn't just take down that helicopter. I didn't take down the fucking helicopter. Did you see what happened? No, negative. Power surge. All the lights are out, everywhere. Make like hell, north, head north. To the tree line, there's a ranger's cabin in the forest. You think it's a Russian offensive? Gotta be, atmospheric EMP. Matter, they just went nuclear on us. Our radios? They're built for it. Keep moving, I'm gonna pop a flare. No, wait, you idiot, the LDF. You're gonna give away my position.
Oh, oh! So we're torching the place now. Oh, that's a great idea, Jack. Start a fire. Let's kick back, roast some fucking marshmallows. It ain't my fault. Maybe we can help it spread, huh? Burn the whole goddamn world, yeah? Hey, it ain't my fault. Flare came down on the roof. Not your fault? Not your fault? How's this anything but your fault? Oh, if the price of stupid goes up five bucks a barrel, I'm drilling a hole in your head first, pal. Hey, asshole. Don't go shooting off fancy fighting words if you ain't got the brass neck to back them up. Mother of God!